Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron, and first and foremost, happy holidays to you. I hope everybody is having a relaxing holiday season, playing some Battletech and kicking back. Uh, but tonight, we've got an exciting battle report for you to watch. I've got Tom in the studio, made the trip out here so he could play the Duchy of Andurian against the Mercenary Kentucky Chargers. So the Kentucky Chargers here are doing an objective raid on Shiro 3. Uh, it is a take and hold mission, so it's going to get pretty bloody. Each player is bringing a full lance to the table with some vehicle support. We are playing in that juicy Ill Clan era, so expect to see some crazy tech on these units. Uh, it's going to be a good one, so guys sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alpha Strike action is coming your way. Alright, here we are on the battlefield of Shiro 3, a uh, traditionally Capellan world now in the hands of the Duchy of Andurian. Uh, and the Andurian cavalry is here. Cavalry? Cavalry? Cavalry. Is that you? That's, that's, that's you. That's you. Okay. Uh, and I am playing the old Kentucky Chargers. Once a loyal Capellan unit, now defecting, turned mercenary. Gone rogue, Tom. Uh, and they're here to reclaim what they what they uh, believe is not Andorian territory. Now, there's multiple mech factories on this world, so this story is sort of on the road to that factory. Your garrison intercepts my raiding force, uh, and we sort of divert and are going after this convoy uh, in hopes to bribe our way into, into some goods from your mech works. Uh, so this convoy here represents the central objective. It's a take-and-hold mission. Uh, I'm the attacker. I'm here. Tom's there. I'll be coming on from this side, and we'll be we'll be going in for. Uh, you think there's like mech parts in there? Could be. I was thinking maybe a dude that we could, you know, it's one guy. Like just one, some, some, some. He's, there's like a throne inside one of the trucks. <laughs> He's just like sitting on it. <laughs> I think it's full of mech parts. All right, it's, it's full of mech parts. Tasty, Ooh, tasty I like, engines. I like that. So. I like that. Well, there are some supply trucks in there. Yeah. Some really cool stuff here. Uh, I got those over at Aries Games in Minnie's time. Those are good ones. Uh, those are Ironwind Metal, some of my favorite stuff. I love the little supply trucks and things like that. They're so this is pretty good nice, nice, good scale. And then we also have some great pieces here from Terrainify. Actually, Tom, oh, we God. just did a review on these. <clears throat> I know. Uh, brought them out for you. I've been staring at this the whole time. Is that A, B, C, or D? <laughs> this one? Um, F. 
Is it still on there? F. Oh my god, that's crazy. I, you're a I savant. Love this one. You're a terrain savant. It's okay. Uh, guys, if you this want... one's B. Come on. B. That's insane. You're welcome. That's insane. <laughs> that's insane. Guys, if you want great terrain like this, you can head on over to Terrain Define and check it out. Uh, but stay it tuned. Looks so good. Turn one is coming up, and we will. There will be blood all over this there delicious terrain. I'm gonna drink, drink it up. You're gonna drink some yeah. old Kentucky Charger blood. Uh, the milkshake, yeah. <laughs> Suck it up. <laughs> all right, me. guys, stay tuned. Turn one coming right up. All right, we're back. The Andurian Cavalry. Uh, could also be the Andurian Rangers. They have very similar color schemes, white and green. But tonight they're the Andurian Cavalry. Uh, against the old Kentucky Chargers here. Gone rogue, took a contract for some mech parts. There they are in the middle. Uh, I'll talk about uh, what I did here. I deployed, I had to make the first moves because I was the attacker. Um, basically just spread my dudes out, got my archer up on the hill, see if I can get some shots. Now remember, all of our forests here are level three uh, is how we play our forests. I think, um, Default rules are level four, maybe uh, in classic, but these are level three. So if you're on um, a level two hill, you can see over them. Um, but we had to have some trees here on higher elevation as well, um, so that will factor in. But anyway, uh, that's what I got going on. I got my little tank train of Poe heavy tanks, not to be confused with Poe Ding. <laughs> uh, old Poe Ding. Oh, Kevin, he's hiding underground somewhere. <laughs> he's somewhere. Uh, so anyway, Tom, tell us what you did there. I did the same thing you did. Yeah, just pushed it on the board. All right. Well, uh, I do see that Jenner there lurking in the woods. What Jenner? What Jenner? Nobody sees him. What about the hover tank? He's over there. He's totally, his pits the camouflage is so good, <laughs> I didn't even see him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, nothing much again. Just kind of spread them out. Yeah. These guys don't have any long range, so I'm just getting them up the board in cover. Kind I of like thing. it. Yeah. It's about All it. right. Well, the rest we of them have good cover, so I have them in this kind of open area. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Uh, and we'll see if there might be some long range shots next turn. But for now, guys, sit tight. Turn two is coming right up. Turn two, old Kentucky Chargers in true Aaron fashion have lost initiative. Uh, <laughs> we had we had a roll twice. We I, I did. I we, we did have an initial tie. Um, so the archer moved down off this hill here. Uh, he may have line of sight on the Jenner. We'll see. Uh, it's going to be tough with the TMM4. The tank sprinted forward. The cataphract came down off this hill might be in range of that Marauder 2. These guys walked forward also looking at either the Flashman or the Marauder 2. By the way, I have some great variants here. Uh, all, a lot of Ilkline stuff, some Recognition Guide stuff, Blackjack, EJ5, my favorite, the Marauder 11D. This Cataphract is new. Uh, I think this is in one of the newer Recognition Guides, the 5L Cataphract. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Uh, just has lots of- lots L of for numbers. Love? L for Love, or House the Owl, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, what did you do? Uh, same thing. I, I sort of said I was getting these guys up. They have no long and extreme range weapons, so they're sprinting this turn. Yeah. Um, these guys walk them because we're now in range. Yep. They're very, a little bit slow, except for this um, Flashman. Yeah. So Flashman's getting up the hill. Don't have a lot of good cover yet. I like, I like your positioning. So with these guys, I was like, I don't know. Just walk them forward. There's not much know. to do. I mean, they're big bruisers. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I want um, to get shots off. You know, it yeah. seems. So we are we are at extreme range here. Yeah. Uh, I'm debating on if I want to shoot the Flashman or the Marauder, but I do think I want to go for that Marauder because well, was, it has a lower TMI. Go ahead. Yeah, Maybe I was going to say. I'm, yeah. So I mean, got sky cam. What do we got? Yeah. I think you can. You can even hit. I could. I could. Almost, and then he's definitely in range. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to see it but just to see who's in range? I right think him? he's out of the flash man. Thirty-four. And probably in on that guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just in range. And definitely out. I'm gonna measure for this. Just, yeah. Just, just in case you get your shot. It's like twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Yeah, so twenty-one 22. as well. Is it twelve? That's Actually, important. That's, 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 that's important. <laughs> Let's just make. 
ultimate shirt. No, they got just under 21. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. All right, so far us down. <laughs> it actually, it was my arm and not the tape measure, <laughs> just to be clear. Um, okay, <clears throat> so we're going to start. I'm going to go left to right here, yeah. I think. Uh, so blackjack is at extreme range. Yeah. What's my opposer roll on? Is it dexterity or? You roll, yes, yeah, so you make a dexterity save. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to do two damage. Uh, so we're going to use some pilot die here. Is it on my flashman? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Marauder 2. Did, okay. did I say flashman? I don't know. I don't know. I said blackjack. It's on my mind. So these guys are basically everybody on the table skill 3 except for my archer, which is skill 2. He's, uh, he's a seasoned veteran. Um, <clears throat> Dan. Dan! No, so I don't know if we said this already, but Dan was... We Dan was supposed to be here tonight. Dan actually built the the Andurian list. Yeah, I'm the uh, relief but then, pitcher. Then had a had a plumbing malfunction. Yeah. <laughs> what's the what's the term for that when the guy pinch Pons. hitter? I'm a pinch hitter. Oh, pinch hitter. Yes. So, oh, I don't know. Two, two damage. Two damage. Three, four, eight. I believe I need eights. Here we go. Yikes! Yikes! Yeah. Yikes! <laughs> so you do two damage. Uh, I do two damage. Let me, let me roll for a On my Marauder, right? On your Marauder, too. Rolling for the critical. If, this could be a quick night time. <laughs> a four. Is that a fire control hit? That is, I believe, a, a fire just... control hit. That is, that's, that's tough. Uh, all right, Marauder is going to pile on three points of damage at extreme range. This is a mixed tech monster, the 11D. It's got two, I believe, two clan ER PPCs. Um... Need eights. Three, four, eight. I got two more points of damage. The cataphract is going to do the same thing. It's just two points of damage. Cataphract also needs eights. I miss everything there. It makes up for the triple sixes. <laughs> and then the, uh, the archer uh, firing at long range. It's going to be four points of damage, Tom. Uh, four points of damage. One, two, three, and four. It's just that a nine. Hey, but your TMM's like crazy. Two, five, nine. Yeah. Well done, sir. Well done. It's still not too bad. But not with the two. Nothing. All right. Whew. Survive another day. So some people are like, I hate the pilot die because if you roll low on the pilot die, you miss everything. But guys, if I was rolling 2d6, her roll and I roll a two, I still can't, yeah, I still can't hit. That's very true. It's, it's the same, it's kind of the same. So it is indeed. Anyway, Tom, so I'm done shooting. Um, I was hoping for more on that Jenner. That would have been great if I could have, you know, done something juicy to it, but I'll take what I what I got on the morning. That feels good. Yeah. What do you got? Not sure. Now I'm now I'm torn. Should I target your marauder? Like can I marauder crime? Can I hit him? Yeah. I assume he's sort of high. Yeah, yeah. I just get some cover. I'll get yeah, a cover bonus, good. but um, you would you would need nines to hit me with the cover. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the tanks. Go okay. for the easy shots. All right. Um, it's the same. It's yeah. Nine. So you're gonna need nines. What do you do at extreme range? I'll start with the flashman. He does okay. two. Got it. So neither will hit. Okay. That was a good roll before too. That was... Okay, the next up will be the Marauder. He does two as well. Yep. Same. Ugh. Not gonna happen there. And then the last is the Highlander. Yes. And he is in we range did of measure. The, he is yeah. in range of the tanks, right? Yeah. Just not of the cataphract. That's right. So he'll be aiming at the tank and he does two as well. So okay. I'm gonna try some different dice. You want to mix it up? Yeah, you know, see which one's feeling good tonight. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Not that one either. So nothing. Okay. They were hard. Nines are hard. So nines are tough. Um, they're they sprinted, so I'm done. Easy. All right. So that's the end of turn two. We have some damage on the Marauder. Uh, that's about it. But we will move in to turn three. Tom warming up the dice. They're very cold. So.
Turn three, the Pegasus Hover Tank, Tom, contesting the objective. Now, uh, glorious news, I won initiative. So why don't you tell us what you did first? Yeah, well, I should have maybe sprinted the hover tank, but I don't want to be cheesy. I would have had to make like a loop, eh, you, you know? know? It's legal. It's legal. I'll let you change it now before, before bullets start flying. It's kind of cheesy to me, I don't know. And like, are we actually in medium? It is or true, no? you did move them first, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I mean, that was what I was going to do, was just kind of loop them around, but I think that's cheese. I'm not going to do it. So I, I moved, again, the fast guys. The hover tank can actually cap this turn. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Um, although I actually was going to go for the archer originally, yeah. then I realized, like, it's very easy for you to just, like, turn around <laughs> and get me. So, Superior maneuverability. Yeah. Years. So the Jenner ran into the woods as well. Okay. Um, he's going to be ready to pounce. Uh, these guys moved up. The Marauder took such a hit, his fire control's bad, so he's shielding um, just, body the shield. just body shielding the Highlander. Like, I'll let him take the hits. And then um, I continued to move the Flashman up the hill, trying to get out of this death zone of no cover. Yep. And now he's got high high visibility. So that's what I did. I do love the new Flashman. Like, looking at it head on, I, I think it's a really... Yeah. Like it's a very slick model. I don't, I don't love, like, the horse legs it's got. No? It doesn't make sense to me with the Irby. Yeah. It reminds me of when Dave Chappelle was doing... Diddly, 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 in his uh, dream. It reminds me of that. Oh, my God. But, it's so good. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. But I, I love... The mini's awesome. Though. I love the uh, design. Oh, it's fantastic. Well, soon we'll have, like, a whole new pile of minis. I do. Or, I can't Like, wait. maybe six weeks. Six to twelve months, you know, yeah. something like that. Well, um, what about you? Uh, so yeah, I'll tell you what I did here. So I moved the archer down off the hill. Um, I want to control this firing lane here. Um, now that the flashman moved there, so you know that will help. Um, the marauder uh, bravely moving out, but I do need to get guns on that Pegasus. Mm -hmm. Could we do or die? Um, Cataphract still moving with this convoy of tanks. Now the tanks uh, just did a standard move, so they did not sprint. I want to see if I'm in long range of that Marauder 2. I'll have to check or Tom can check for me. Am I within 21? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Looks good. Yeah. Uh, and then the Blackjack stationary. We'll put some guns down range, some lasers or whatever uh, he's got there. So we'll see how that works out. But you begin shooting, sir. Yeah. So we're in long range of 21? Yeah. 21. Ouch. You don't like it. And then... Um... Well, extreme range. Yeah, extreme range for the Highlander. And then I think I just measured and they're outside of me. Yeah, they're so long range. Good. Yeah. Um, um, that is too much woods to shoot through. So there we go. I got all my fire yep. shots. So we're going to do two shots in the Marauder. Um, one shot into a tank. So I'll start with the Flashman. Okay. So he's going to get in a decent exposure charge. Pretty sure. So two, two points. So um, Flashman shooting at... The Marauder. I just yeah. got that. You like that? Uh, okay, so he's shooting at the three, Marauder. Here four, comes. Uh, five, six, sevens. Well, that'll automatically hit as you yeah. did roll. Great. So but two damage. Thankfully, no through armor critical, but that Marauder does take two pips. Two pips. Uh, of blazing damage there from that uh, Flashman. Now, what's next? Marauder The two? Marauder, yeah. Oh, um, he actually does three damage. Oh, okay. okay. Well, yeah, then... So. Yeah. Oh, roll it, roll it up, because it could be a six. It is not. Okay. So uh, right, because you're at long range, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. Okay. So same, the Marauder does three, and okay. it's going to be the same. Um, yeah. So seven. Um, two more points. Two more points. Yikes. Yeah. So many sixes, but thankfully... <sighs> not the right one. Thankfully not the right one. No. However, this Marauder is getting battered right now. Only two pips of armor remaining. Yeah, and then the, um, <sighs> the Marauder two. The Highlander, right? You just shot the Marauder too? That's right, the Highlander. I do have indirect fire. Oh boy. Um, so I could spot with the tank and fire over the Marauder into the Marauder. It's true. But oh, it's at long range though. So I need, what's the IF1? IF1? I need IFL. No, no. Uh, what's the value for IF? IF1. Yeah. So at extreme range, it would be zero. If you had like IF2, it would go down to one at extreme range because you just subtract all. So I've tracked one. But at long range too, right? It would go down one. No, it stays. So IF1 still won it. You're thinking oh, I thought of overheat. That was medium. Oh, yeah. Overheat. I know. Don't it's confusing. Don't listen to me. Okay, so um, 
At extreme range, it does two damage. And you're targeting the cataphract? No. Or the, the lead the, tank. Yeah, the lead okay. tank. Po well, I, guess I, should, I guess I can fire at the, the um, cataphract. Because they're both at extreme. Yeah. So there's no real downside to it as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, 25. There's no downside. Except for you wanted to do a motive hit on the tank. Not that I want to remind you of that. But. Yeah. Well, actually, you know what? That's a good point. I'm going to stick with that then. Thank you. Because, yeah... It, that yeah. That means that means your your mechs have to move in to contest. Um, and just sit and hide behind the screen of useless yeah. tanks. Yeah. So this is gonna be harder. So this is gonna be a base uh seven, eight. So eights. Okay. I get one. Yikes. Okay. So uh do you wanna also 2d6 yeah on the motive? Now it is a tracked tank, so you need an eight or better, if I'm not mistaken. A nine or better, actually. An eight. A nine or better on a tracked vehicle. So an eight will do nothing. Okay. Uh, which is lucky for me. You were very close there. But the Potank still takes a point of damage. Okay. Uh, is your Pegasus shooting? Uh, no, he doesn't have any shots. So okay. And the Jenner, neither. So. Uh, so we're going to start out with the Potanks both shooting at that Marauder too. Uh, now, they only do one point of damage at long range, Tom. Okay. Three, four, six. I'm sorry, seven. I don't think there's sufficient cover from where they're at. Okay. So, I need seven. So, first tank hits, does a pick. Second tank uh, misses. Okay. Cataphract is going to pile on the Marauder as well. Um, do you have any mechs with ENE, by the way? Yeah, the Marauder. Okay. And the Flashman? Okay. I have. What's EE e e on the tank? EE e is uh, an elementary engine, engine or oh. something. I don't know. It just means they can't go in space. That's a diesel. What that means. Yeah, it's a diesel. Uh, turbo diesel. Yeah, turbo Cummins. Mm. Com <laughs> compound turbo? <laughs> One of those, yeah, yeah, I was going to say. EGR delete. <laughs> so, what do we Big got? dump pipe. Uh, yeah. Oh, now you're speaking my language. Yeah. Cataphract shooting at the Marauder 2. Now, we are at... Why were you asking... Hold on. Roll this. Why were you asking about E&E? Because the... Thank you. The Cataphract has re reflective armor. Whoa. Yeah. I think I reduced damage from E&E by one, but I do need to check that in the rules, which I will do so in between turns. Uh, so, the Cataphract now shooting at your... I'm glad I didn't shoot at the cataphract then. Yeah, well, I would have forgot anyway until I just looked. <laughs> so three, uh, three points of damage. So he's a three, four, seven. So still sevens. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Here it comes. All sixes. Yikes. Two points though. Two two points. It still hurts. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> that marauder. <laughs> he's doing a good job taking that damage. All right. Oh. Did he shoot this turn? Because I did not take his um his fire control penalty. Who did did he miss or did he hit? I don't know. He hit the Marauder, didn't he? Oh, God, he did. He we'll did. have to retcon that in the footage. Oh boy. I'm That's... sorry. I'm sorry, viewers. I'm sorry, viewers. We'll figure it out. I may just I may just agree to hit because I don't want to go back thirty minutes in the footage to find it. Yeah. Um. He would have done. Three. He would, yeah. He was the one you rolled two dice. Oh no, that was the flashman. You were like, oh, flash three. I think he did. He hit for two. I think he hit for two. Yeah. So you can just. Do you want to re-roll it? Just re-roll it. Why don't we do that now? Because I don't remember what you got. I don't feel like going. Yeah. Back. Well, okay. So that he's at a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. She's a nine. So I'll just re-roll the two because I missed one. Right. No, re-roll them all. If you get all three, oh, I quit. I get none. Okay, so, so I'll take the two damage off. Okay, that's fair. All right. See, this is this is how you play the game, guys. This is, how, this is real un unedited battle tech. Same. You know, you realize your mistake, you call it out. I'm gonna shoot your Pegasus uh, with my Marauder. No, we're at I long, we're at long range. I have to. Uh, I don't think I can kill it though. That's the problem. But I'm I'm hoping that maybe I can score a. You never know. Just roll How straight six. Is it? Four points. Uh, yeah, you can get internal. It could happen. Should have sprinted. Go on. 
three, six, and we said we're at long range. Yeah, nine nines. Oh god. And he's uh, hiding behind the tank. He's what? He's hiding behind that tank. You can't tell. You you can't shoot that convoy. <laughs> he's blended in with the convoy. <laughs> gotta be careful. That's he's a compelling. He's like that's a compelling tactic. tactic. Yeah. He's just belching diesel smoke. Looks like compelling babies <laughs> like tied to the front of the summer tank. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, he's like, it's legal. Crap, I missed everything. Oh, thank God. I missed everything. I needed something to uh, So Blackjack firing at the... Uh, he will get cover from him. Yeah, he's going to get cover from him. So three, four, we're at, we're at long range, right? Mm, or are we at extreme? We might be at extreme. Just because I know the Marauder was. Uh, yeah, we're at 23, yeah. So, uh, so three, four, seven, eight with cover, I'm stationary, seven. Now, Blackjack at extreme range does two. Here we go. Ooh. Just, just nab one. On the... Uh, Marauder two. Marauder, okay. Just a little nibble. Now, <laughs> Tom, can you measure from the Archer to your Flashman? No, thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. <laughs> Crap. It's the. It's the. Um. I should have spotted against your tank. What? What uh, is the long edge of a triangle called? The hypotenuse. The hypotenuse. <laughs> you know, you're always caught by the hypotenuse. Always caught by the hypotenuse. It's easy when you're straight Shoot. across, but it's that. That. That is difficult. Um. Okay. Well, that ends turn three. So, in that regard, we will go to turn four. Uh, you score a primary objective point. Congratulations, Thomas. I lost I lost my Marauder, but I got right, it. Right, your Marauder, he's like on fire. <laughs> yeah. The pilot's like trying to get out he's of the cockpit. Around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, we got, but we can't, we're, we're protecting yeah. the convoy. Yeah. Um, all right, so we'll move on to turn four. Tom scores a primary objective point. Can the old Kentucky Chargers pull something out of the hat? Let's see, it's coming right up. Four cavalry tightening their their claws around uh, around this convoy here. It's getting crazy, um, but it's it's getting it's going to get ugly. I mean the the old Kentucky Chargers have a nice brick here in the middle of armor, <laughs> yeah. uh, so we'll see what happens. So Tom actually lost initiative again. This yeah, is the can... first time I've won initiative more than once in a game. Was it about... three times in a row now? It's twice, twice in a row. Um, the flashman moved further up the hill. Again, now I sort of have this block here and. He's got good uh, angling. The Marauder moved up into cover, and again, he's just holding fast. But it actually got out of the way of the Highlander, who can now fire, because everybody kind of has to come around to contest. Um, I made a risky move, but I wanted to be able to fire, so I didn't sprint the, the, the hover tank. And instead, I, I got the Jenner out of cover, and so I at least have two units contesting, in the hopes that if you do cap, you know, blow up one of them, I can maybe fail over. But now I can shoot with both as well, so. Okay. Hopefully it works out. Well, my blackjack is remaining still. I did shuffle him over a little bit by alpha strike rules. If you don't move more than an inch from your starting point, it doesn't count as moving. So I just shuffled him so over. on this one, the shooting? Yeah, so yeah. I'll still get that benefit. Um, I just wanted to clear these tanks on the roof. Uh, my archer sprinted. I was saying to Tom off camera that I grossly misdeployed him. Um, and so it is what it is. Uh, we're I gonna thought, see. I thought it was gonna be more going on over there, but I, I did too, and I put him there just to to have. But I should have put the, the blackjack over here. Like blackjack has uh, his jump jets. He can never get the train so easier. Yeah, you know, hopped around. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But you know, listen, games are won and lost in deployment, guys. That's what that's what they say. That's what I say. That's my. That's gonna be. So you're saying that that was actually a good deployment over here. I was. It baited me out. It was very smart. Um, I, I should have known. I totally thought that through. Clan, typical clan player. <laughs> uh, and then I got my brick here, as I called it earlier, right? Yeah. My Marauder, my Cataphract, these two Potanks that are in great shape. 
Uh, and the Potanks, you know, they don't do a lot of damage, but hey, they're they're there and they're contributing. So I feel good about that. Sorry. Uh, you get to shoot first. That's right. Um, you ready? You ready yeah. for this? Why don't we get into shooting? Okay. Um, so, you know, that Flashman had good luck against some Marauder, so I think I will continue on. Okay. I don't think the tank is magically in a different range bracket. So they're both at 21. It's true. And sort long. So Flashman, three up. Um, you know what I forgot to do? What'd you do? I mean, I forgot to check what, what the heck reflective armor oh. does, but I'm going to open... Well, I haven't shot him yet, have I? No, okay. you haven't. So if you, if you decide to shoot the cataphract... Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to. Up. So I'm, I'm either going to shoot the tanks or the okay. armor. So uh, it's a seven, I think. Yeah. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven's to hit the marauder. Here it comes. Ooh, wow. Wow, a big whiff with <sighs> three points of that. I would feel bad if I hadn't lost like the last 12 games. That's fair enough. Um, I'll keep going around the back. Okay. With with my big with my biggies. Okay. Uh, so let me just see again. So they're at fifteen and eighteen. So I'm gonna I'll I'll fire at the Marauder again. God, this poor Marauder. So uh, he's three as well. Okay. Um, sevens. All so. right. Yikes! So three points of damage. Three points of the Marauder, and that was from the Marauder. Uh, no, from, from the Highlander. The Highlander. Okay, because yeah. let's remember when you shoot yep. the Marauder. I will not forget again. This this time, let's remember. Yeah, it's not, dude. It's just so much to remember sometimes. Yeah. Um. So I guess yeah, you know, again, the Marauder's probably also at long range. Yeah. He's at seventeen. Yeah, yeah. and then long, thirteen. So long as both. Um, I'll I'll keep at the Marauder then. So okay. The Marauder does three as well. Got it. So he's gonna be nines. Nice. I see, a, I see a 10. Unfortunately, I, you know I re-roll those. That's, that is true. You do, I you, you stick by your, your rule. So you got one pip of damage, the Marauder, right? It was nines. Yeah. Oh, that's eight. I can't count. So one pip of damage. There you go. <laughs> okay. Five, um, carry the one. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all my large, my large boys. Um, <laughs> large boys. The last. Yes. Now I just got these tiny things. <laughs> so... They're at nine or seven, um, so they're both at medium. So I'll do two pips of damage. And you're um, firing at the po tank. How much? You, you probably have tons of armor on that marauder too, right? No, it's stripped. Is it stripped? Yeah, finally. I'll fire two shots at him. All right, as um, arms blazing. Yeah, we're at medium, so you're five, at six. Medium? Yeah. Oh boy. Sort. A six to hit. So I hit with both. All so right, so the Marauder, that's a critical hit. The Marauder's in force withdrawal. An eight. That is a Nothing. weapon. Oh, weapon. Okay. okay. Right. One more, right? Uh, the Jenner. I, oh, it was only one internal? Yeah, it's one. It's okay. per, it's not per, per attack. attack. Yeah, it's yeah, per yeah, attack. Yeah, exactly. Thinking of, uh, we've been talking about classic so much. I know. It's per, it's per weapon, right? In classic, yeah. So every time yeah. you have a weapon, right? And then when you roll all the individual weapons, yeah. It's the same thing. So they're at just under 12. So I'll keep firing at the Marauder then. So the right. Jenner does two. This could be the end. Oh, the Jenner is three. Wow. It's the Jenner N. Jenner, Jenner 7 N. Yeah, so same Thanks. thing. Um, Yikes. He'll get all three as well. All right, that Marauder goes up in smoke. The first casualty okay. of the day. Uh, that's it. That's, that's, that's tough. That's tough. Okay. Okay, I'm all set then. You're all set. Oh, okay. Can I survive this cap a point? I don't know. I don't think I can take out the the Jenner. Uh, but I am going to do my best <laughs> to take out as much as I can. So these Potanks are going to start. Um, yeah, we're going to start with the Cataphract. The Cataphract is going to shoot your Pegasus tank. So basically, I need three six. I need eights. How many pips does that Marauder have left? <coughs> uh, six total. Two armor. Two and four. You make a joke, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Good about my Marauder. It's cold. All right. So what do I need here? I need I need eights. All right. Here here it comes. Son. Oh, Ooh. Oh, I managed to snag three on the Pegasus. Yeah. Okay. Stripped, huh? Stripped. Now, I do get a motive check. Now, because you're a hover vehicle, I add one to this roll. Nothing. 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, so my PO tank is gonna fire the, the inside PO tank, uh, actually the outside PO tank, the one closest to the Marauder is gonna fire at the Pegasus. Okay. Same thing, I need eights. Nothing. The other PO tank is gonna fire, I need eights. Will I survive? Unbelievable. Okay, your, your, your MCPP is taking its shot. What else you got? No, the Marauder hasn't shot. Oh, the C. Not shot. Um, C you know what sucks? Coconut. What yeah. sucks is is this is I wanted to have the Marauder hit the Jenner. I know that, but I you, guess you were I sending guess, out brain waves. I guess I'll do what I do. Uh, I'm gonna overheat. No. Six points of damage at the Pegasus. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Oh, but I still need eights, Tom. I still need eights. It's it's oh. not easy. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll. The pilot died first. Oh, you rolled a five on the five. Oh man. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay. All I need, guys, is two threes. I mean, one really. Two right threes are better. That's a that is a dead Pegasus. Goodbye. That's a dead Pegasus. You so, know, children everywhere are crying. <laughs> crying right now. You killed a unicorn. <laughs> unicorn's dead. Um, well, that hurts so much. Okay, I but can't phew. believe it. All right, so the uh, um, well, that really stinks. Can you measure from the blackjack sure. to the marauder for me? Yeah. Um, and twenty-two. The, and then the, really? Yeah. Okay. I would like to audit that because that's, that's sure. it matters. Yeah, you want you hold it to your guy. Twenty-one's right here. Okay. So and to the Jenner, it's it's obviously within twenty one. Yeah, twenty nineteen. How much armor does that Jenner have? Four. Uh, four. Yeah, four two. Oh my god! So guys, I mean, this is the thought, right? Like, I can either put that Marauder into a position where next turn it's ripe for force withdrawal, or I can try to start putting damage on that Jenner. Um, it is hard to say. So the thing is this, it's, I'm not the, tell it's, the, it's the target number, right? So with the Jenner, I need three, six, nines. The Marauder, I only need eights because I'm, it's got cover, right? Oh yeah, because he's a three, it would only be a two. Oh no, actually the Marauder's at extreme, the Jenner's at, actually it's nines either way, isn't it? Because the Marauder's at extreme. Long and extreme, yeah, that's right. So so nine you know. either way. Three, seven, so, eight, nine. I'm it's up to the, you what you want shoot to shoot the Jenner. Okay. Uh, I get an extra point of damage at long range. So that's, I mean, so that's, that's totally yeah. worth it then. <clears throat> yeah, that's with the same target number, yeah. Here, here we go, folks. I got two. Yikes. I'll take it. Not the bad. blackjack. Actually, actually, you know what, Tom? I needed eight nope. because he's stationary, but it doesn't matter because I rolled a seven and, yeah. and two nines. Um, but. That's that. That's the end of turn four. The Marauder is destroyed. Tom secures, the Pegasus is just destroyed, but you secure another primary objective point. Well, I don't know how to do the, the two, two objective points. Uh, that's crazy, dude. All right, so this is getting, this is getting rough. Um, that log, losing that Marauder really hurts, but I think your Marauder's on the precipice. Your Jenner's hurt. Could go either way, guys. Uh, we're moving into turn five. Don't go away. Claim the convoy, the old Kentucky Chargers, winning initiative again. Tom, what's happening? <laughs> this, is, this is an interesting. I wonder if like you rotated the room, the whole the like whole house. Were, yeah, as part of the renovation, I actually changed the the, the feng shui. Yeah, yes. this window now is like a dragon, oh, yes. a dragon's eye on me. Um, but oh, actually, yeah, that's yeah. kind of true. Yeah, but, it's um, happening. It's happening. So I lost again. I moved first. Um, so my Pegasus is dead. Um, I'll actually start in the way that I moved. Uh, so I moved 
the Flashman first, because again, he's not doing much but getting into cover. He's there, he's happy. The Marauder stood still, because I just want to fire with him and I need to negate some of that um, penalty. The uh, Highlander moved up. I was going to move him down, but like, it's good. Keep him on the ridge, it's fine. <clears throat> I realized I had the space there. So then what did I do with the Jenner? The Jenner, <clears throat> I, what I was planning on last turn was doing the same thing. I was going to fade back as you came in and just like... Pinster me? Yeah, just like... Barrage <laughs> me? Like honey pot, yeah. So I pulled the Jenner behind the tree cover as much as I could, but I still want to be able to shoot at the um, one of the pontoon tanks. What are they called? Poe tanks. Poe tanks. Yeah. Like Poe Dan. Yeah. And that's it. That's all I got. I only have right. four guys left. So, so finally, the uh, the commander here, the archer, is in the fight. Uh, he moved out of this this little canyons tree canyon area. He has some options uh, on on this side of the board. The blackjack's just boom, 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 just yeah. standing still, unloading. He's like you know the crazy guy, <laughs> like cat. He should be on top of the building, to be honest. Yeah, but I want the cop. No, nope, I'm not going to shoot at him. So. I'm scared. Like, I'm guarantee. I only have four people. I'm not shooting at all. <laughs> Uh, the Poe tanks rumbled forward. Both of them are contesting. Hopefully both of them don't die. Uh, the cataphract took a little sidestep into the woods. We did read about reflective armor. It's, it's complicated. Amazing. Uh, so it's pretty it, amazing. if you have E&E, it halves the damage. Yeah. If you have anything else, you reduce Minus the damage point. by one. However, if it's like artillery or there's like a series oh, like of weapons, weapons, it takes double damage. Like flamers and stuff? Maybe? Not flamers, no, like ballistic based stuff, like artillery and things like that. Oh, so Probably because it's like more delicate maybe? Yeah, so basically what it says is uh, attack types, what does it say, that are art, bomb, flak, or MSL specials. Any attack using those specials doubles the damage for that attack. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when you roll a critical hit, you add two to it. Anything above a 13, 13 or 14 basically counts That'd as That'd be a great sniper hit. build. Yeah. Like, maybe you're taking one or two pips and you're having that. Right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Might agreed. Well, I guess if you're only having that, it's minus one regardless if it's like two. Right, at those ranges, right? You always round down to a minimum of one. It does say that. That'd be interesting. So, cool. Fun, fun rules fact for everybody. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so Cataphract's doing that and Blackjack is, yeah, we already talked about him being a crazy man. So, um... You get to fire first time. Great. So the general's going to do three damage into the Poe tank. Okay. Um, that's where I'm going to start. Okay. He's the most limited in, in targets. And the, the closest Poe tank, that's the one that's it, undamaged. Uh, no, no. It's, um, okay. This one. So here. that one, I don't. I actually how... don't. I would have to shoot through woods, I think. I think that's right. Okay. So this guy. Which one's damaged? This one? The No, the one you this can one. see clearly, Okay, cool. Actually, yeah. So um, we're at medium range. On clock. Uh, so okay. I do three damage. Uh, three. Four, five, six, right? So sixes. I don't like it. Oh boy. Okay, so three damage. Okay, so uh, it does not penetrate the okay. heavy armor of this tank. However, uh, you do get a motive check. An eight again, nothing. So the this armor of tank. the Poe tank. Okay. This is why I do like some of these tanks. They do have a lot of armor. They're good meat shields. Yeah. And it's only uh, it's only like 21 points base cost, which is great. So how much internal do they have? Like three? Three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, the Highlander will... Sorry, I think they're at medium as well. Yeah, um, that's, that's huge at that, that one tank. Yeah. Uh, did not crumble. You said as... Okay, well, then I'm going to fire the Highlander at it. He does four. Same tank? Yeah. Okay, so that's the one. Okay. So if he's got three... Yeah. Well, I guess all I really have to do is get him four switch draw, right? You would need three to kill it, right? No, 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 no. It's got two armor left. Oh, it still has armor. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes. Okay. Well, then, yeah, I'll do four on it then. Ironically, it has more armor than the Blackjack. Blackjack is envious. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, so, four damage into the tank. Uh, same to hit, I think. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Oh, boy. All four hit. All right. So, that tank, uh, that is definitely in force withdrawal. You get a motive check and a critical check. Motive check is no critical check. A seven, I believe that is nothing on a vehicle. This Poe tank, just okay. loving life right now. <laughs> nice. Well then, uh, I'm gonna switch to the other Poe tank with the Marauder. Okay. He's gonna overheat one. Oh boy. And so he'll do six damage. Okay, I hope you miss everything. Um, <laughs> I understand. I wish you the worst. So six damage. So he's skill three, basically yes, with the fire four. control and the stationary counts like skill four. So five, yes. and you need sevens. Yeah. Okay. 
So yeah. still doable. Especially with a five. Uh, oh, I only missed five two. points of damage. Nice. Okay, that is more than I wanted. Okay. Um, I don't like that at all. So five points of damage to that guy. You're gonna need to roll a motive check too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Maybe I'll actually get it. Yeah. I'll do it softly. <laughs> <laughs> roll it harder. More roll it harder next time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so the last guy is the Flashman. Um, oh, so the question is with the Flashman. So he's at probably long range mm -hmm. to him. Oh, and actually to both of them. He's at 20 and 19. Okay. So he does three damage. Okay. How much does this guy have left? Four. One armor, three structure. Oh, he still has... That's what I was curious. Like how much armor? Yeah. So I'm going to target him then. They're at the same range. Um, if you now the flashman this point, I will quit the, the game. The flashman is OV2. Not OVL though, right? No. Yeah, so he can't overheat it long. Only at medium or short. So that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. So he'll do three pips. Okay, now he's going to need three, four, seven. Three, six, seven. Yeah. There's no cover. No, no, no. He's like super elevated. So I get two. two. Oh my god, that's going to put him in force withdrawal. Got him. Oh and my god. And then he'll get a motive. Uh, motive. And then a crit, right? Yeah. Seven. No crit at all. Jeez. These potanks, man. But. Unfreaking <laughs> believable. Mission accomplished. I hate you. The board is mine. <laughs> I'm gonna murder everything. <laughs> I know that's the bad part. Okay, it's your turn. Uh, Fire. <laughs> all right. Do so it. the Marauders got what? Two, still got two pips of armor, right? Two pips of armor, four points of structure. Sure. Um, so he's he's, he's right. He's got a lot. Yeah, he's got a lot. I mean, I mean, you just say I, he's right, but he's got a freaking. Can't believe how much uh, damage they do. Oh, is that the um, the heat? Yeah, yeah it's it's heat. Just okay. just uh, because I was thinking about it. Yep. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is with the with the one po tank I'm going to shoot the Jenner. Okay. Uh, it's only one point of damage, but he's the only one that can see the Jenner. I'm going to put the damage on it while I can. Smart. Three six. I need eights. So of course nothing. Uh, the other po tank is going to shoot the Marauder. So, so he's at a zero. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I need three four five. <laughs> is there cover? Probably cover yeah. six. Got it. So it's one pip. Okay. He lives for another attack. He lives for another attack. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is, can you measure the range for me between this guy and your Marauder? The Marauder? Sure. Yeah, I believe it's long. 19? Yeah. Okay. So that would be four points of damage. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a lot. Uh, and I could put him in force withdrawal if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, yeah. You need a three damage. If I hit with everything. Okay. If I hit with everything. Well, three, three gets internal, or three strips his armor. No, one, one will get him internal. Two gets oh. him internal. Oh, oh, so oh, oh, you need gotcha, three. Gotcha, you need gotcha, three, gotcha, you need gotcha. three to put him in force withdrawal. Okay. So two, five, six. I need sixes. And that's with cover. That's with cover. Because you have no TMM. Nope. Okay. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. <sighs> can't, can't do it, pal. Oh, add Ooh. an extra critical. That's four. <clears throat> My commander coming through on the clock. What's that? Four? four points of damage four. and two critical hits. Yep, so he's in force withdrawal. I know, but he can still shoot, which I don't like. Maybe. Ah, uh, that's true. Here we go. First critical, <clears throat> an 11. That's okay. an engine hit. That hurts. Second critical. Shabam! Oh, headshot? Oh, uh, ammo. Ammo. Well, he's me, so. No! Yeah, nothing. No! <laughs> I hate you. He lives another day. I hate you. Okay. I sound like Anakin. I hate you. I hate you, my mom. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We've got two more guys, right? I got two more guys. Okay. Blackjack's gonna fire at the Marauder. You're trying to kill him? Oh, I can't have that thing. Mm -hmm. I can't have him marauding around the board with five points of damage or whatever the heck he's got. That's true. Insanity. Um, although, let me think about this. Although. Although. 
Next turn, with the point of heat, his base gunnery is like a six with the fire control hit. But he'll still be in like medium range to the um, objective. Yeah. Well, no, you have to go backwards though. Right. But if I don't have to run, like yeah. 12 inches is. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to try to shoot him. Back here. Uh, just so, basically, two. I don't even know. I'm going to roll and just see. Maybe I should have walked them a little. That's definitely gonna kill me. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know what I needed there, but I, it was like six or sevens, maybe. Not that much. Yeah. A Goodbye. nine will definitely do it. Goodbye, sweet uh, prince. So the blackjack scores the kill on the Marauder two. There are no more Marauders alive. All the Marauders are dead. Uh, now the question is: Do I start shooting the Flashman or this Highlander? I think we're gonna do the Highlander. Tom. Makes sense. I believe we are within, uh, from the cataphract. Oh, shoot through the woods. You can shoot uh, through that inch. 12? Yeah, looks like, looks like medium. Yep. Looks like medium range. So that'll be four points of damage here from this shiny new cataphract 5L. Uh, three, four. Sorry, that was me. Three, four. Five for the woods. Six, seven. For the range. There we go. I got three. Not bad. Mm. Not a bad opening salvo. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that is the end of this turn time. Uh, the Marauder 2 is destroyed. The both both pot po tanks are in withdrawal. I don't score an objective point. Jenner got a little more dinged up. That's that. You think? It's, it's brutal. It's brutal, it's fun. Turn six is coming up. Yeah. Don't go away. Turn six, guys. Uh, so the Andurian Cavalry is still up by two primary objective points to none. Um, on the secondary side, I have two. Uh, you have one, but you know, it's inconsequential at this point because we're just going for the gold. Tom. Going for the gold. Yep. Um, I lost initiative, uh, so I had to make some moves. Basically, my potanks did withdraw. I rolled for morale. They're fine, uh, so they're able to shoot. Um, I pulled the, ar actually, I had the, then I did the, the blackjack, uh, the archer kind of pulled in. I realized the entire game, this is actually a 5-8 archer, uh, and I've been treating him like a 4-6, but... Lost this. It is what it is. Turn. Over six turns. I mean, you're just so used to, like, the 30-25 archers are, like, ingrained in my brain as, like, a 4-6, and then, yeah. you know, crazy old clan stuff. Um, then this cataphract, uh, it's actually chose to be stationary. I, Tom was actually shocked that I didn't go out for the objective, yeah. but... I mean, is that a tree? I can't even tell. It's a large shrubbery. It could be a large tree. shrubbery. Uh, the camo, the, the camo is very good. Can't I guess. Even see Look, the autumnal trees and the brown camo, it's hard to see. Hard to see. Uh, but. You shoot first? I shoot first. Now, I do have some angles. I have some things. A lot of angles. I want to start with the Potank shooting on the Jenner. Um, it's medium range. They do one point of damage each at medium range. Yep. Uh, now. Two, two. Two armor, two structure. Yeah. So they are... Really? He's got two armor left? What's two, he got? Two. Five to start? Four. Four, two. Did I only hit him for... Mm. All two. right. Yep. So there we you go. You missed with the potanks. Yeah, I did. See, so every point matters, man. Three, six. So I need eights. Miss. They cannot hit this Jenner. But that's true. Just to save their lives. I can't get a crit and they can't hit. Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, so change, change of plan here. We're going to try to melt this Flashman. Everything is going to shoot the Flashman uh, on my, my mech side here. So we're going to start with the with the Archer. It's long range. I didn't think you are going to do that. That's funny. Uh, listen, I've got some... I've got, I'm playing the long game, which is I'm just going to try to kill everything. Yeah. I'm like, I got a point, you're like, your mech's dead. <laughs> your mech is dead. Uh, four points of damage. Two, four, seven. Can I get something good here, Tom? 
Oh, I can. That's four points of damage on the flash. Run. Okay, that hurts. And that is good. Um, now, the blackjack is going to fire. I believe that's long range, three points of damage. Uh, two, three, four. I need the same thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, Another three? I was so hoping for that through armor critical. Another three points. Now, the cataphract is up. I believe it's long range, but if you just want to check, because I want to be fair here. Sure. Um, um, the cataphract? Yeah, from the cataphract to the flashman. Uh, 16. Okay, perfect. So it's going to be three, four, five. I need eights here. Come on. Come on, cataphract. Now, my reflective armor, I'm going to shoot myself and bounce my lasers off at you. <laughs> Something. <laughs> it's a thing. Uh, all right, here we go. So I need eights. Wow. Get it. Two more points of so damage. So that's going to be a crit, and he's in force withdrawal, I think. Yeah. Wow. I love that. You almost comes killed him. Crit. A 10. What is yeah. a 10, Tom? A uh, fire control, I think. I like that. That's good for a withdrawing mech. Um, I would have preferred to kill him because he can still shoot me, but it's helpful. Sure. Now, I am done shooting. Indeed. All right, what do you what have you got going on here? Mm, hard to say. Mm. Um, I think I'm going to target the cataphract. Okay. So I was like, I don't really because that armor, like, but whatever. Yeah. That's what I got. Um, it's he, fun. He's going to be a good tank in that way. Does he have a lot of armor too? Uh, or is it like not that It's got tips? seven armor wow. and six structure. Seven's yeah. really good. And, and that it has everything, that's... Going. It's meaty. I didn't realize yeah. that Reflective Armor did that. Super good. I actually just picked it because I was like, oh, it's in the rep guide. This will be cool. <laughs> this will be fun. Yeah. Um, so the Jenner is going to fire first at it. Um, it's at medium. Mm -hmm. So it'll do three damage. Okay. And what takes plus one for shooting in the woods? Uh, correct. Yeah. He's what, about an inch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's right on the right. He is right in the. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Looks like an inch. Um, from the you said from the highlighter, right? No, the Jenner shooting this way because again the woods kind of go like that. Yeah, right? okay. So I'll buy it. That was my. I'll buy it. Is a Jenner E any? Uh, no. Okay. He's not. I, I so need to look up three, the Jenner and I have no idea what it has. And he didn't move. Okay. So does, do I take a minus? One? I just it's zero. Yeah. So three, four, five, six. So six is to hit him. And that includes the woods bonus. Yeah. Yeah. I get one, two, three. Okay, so I reduce it by one, right? Because it's it's not any. E &E. Right. All right, not so e &E. I take two points damage. Okay, two pips. Better than nothing. That hurts, yeah. actually. I mean, that, that that's not insignificant. So the Highlander is at 13. So long range, which I like. So three damage. Okay. He's not any e &E either. So he'll be a three, four. Five, six, sevens. Sevens. Okay. Oh my god, dude. So two more. You are on fire. Although, admittedly, I wrecked the Flashman and rolled like a boss. Pretty true. Yeah. The Flashman's going to fire back. Um, at long range. Yeah. Still in long range. Never did get anything out of him. So he does three. Um, he is E and E, though, which is what I wasn't like super stoked about. I feel it. Yeah. Not actually going to happen. Uh, but I get one. She get one, so round oh, down. Wait, am I eights or sevens? I can't remember. Three. Six. Sixes. Yeah, either way, it rounds down to one. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, so. And all right. Reflective armor for the win. Uh, so the cataphract got beat up a little bit there. Uh, but you're done shooting. Yeah. Uh, your, your flash man's in force withdrawal. He's a goner. You does your does your Jenner score another point? Or yep. is, okay, so you're at three, you're at the three, he passes morale, you're at three primary objective points. Alright, we'll see what happens. Turn seven's coming up. It's not over yet, folks. Old Kentucky Charger still have a lot of meat on the table. How many does this cap at ten turns? It does. We're at turn eight. We are at turn eight, that is correct. This is a dangerous game. No, no, we're going into turn seven. This was turn six. Tom doesn't believe he's auditing the, auditing the damage lock. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's cool, it's cool. I had, I had six on the thing, so I think it's good.
All right, guys, so here we go. Turn seven coming with it. It is turn seven, Tom. Not to be confused with turn eight. Hmm. Uh, so I lost initiative again. Tom on a streak. He rolled, he rolled double steps this guy uh, for initiative. He was, he was showing me who's boss. I thought so, I was going to get a through armor. It just was a little delayed. Just a little delayed. <laughs> Potanks, um, so when you're in withdrawal, you know, and you make your morale, you basically have to move just one inch back, but yeah, laterally you can move however you want. And Tom and I both took advantage of this. So I, Move both the potents back and over to try to get more angles this way. As you see, there's nothing there anymore. Ran away. Um, Cataphract went deeper into the woods, got his TMM. Archer came out, got his TMM. Blackjack, I mean, literally just standing and firing. There's just like burnt shells all over the top of this building yeah. uh, from this guy just unloading all the I can, like, could I even hit him? Look at Highlander, you could for sure. I just mean, like, he's so covered by that building. I feel like more than 50% of it's covered. Because his guns are so high. That is true. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah, because more than, more than you can't see 33%. Yeah. Intriguing. Yeah. Intriguing. That's why I haven't tried to shoot him, because I, I didn't want to like... You, you yeah. don't want to damage the warehouse that has valuable yeah. mech parts. Right. Inside. Well, like, even him, he has his barrels in the way, yeah. you know, so... Okay. Okay. Uh, so anyway, you're going to fire <clears> first, too. I'm going to fire first. You want to talk about what you did real quick? Yeah, same thing. He's forced withdrawal, so I kind of moved him on an angle back yeah. and over. Um, the Highlander continues to just sort of post up here. He kind of moved to see my postcode. Yeah. And then um, the Jenner ran around the woods to get three inches from the cataphract and and to try to block as much. So he can fire through at one of the potanks, at least. Okay. And maybe kill, kill yeah, him. Yeah, maybe. But the potanks are going to start out, they're going to shoot the flash man. Uh, both of them, uh, so we have one at medium range, one at long range. Yeah. So the one at long range is going to start. Mm -hmm. Three, four, I need sevens. Here we go. Actually, I'm going to start with the one at medium range. Sure. There's logic there. Um, <laughs> Easier shot. Well, there's something else going on. We'll see. How many pips does he have left? Just mm -hmm. one, right? Yeah. Just so I need one. a six here. No. Yeah, I need a six. Here we go. Can the Potank deliver with its massive LBX autocannon? Let us see, Tom. <laughs> Here we go. Oh Doesn't my god. Wow. The other, the, other guy, the other guy, the other guy needs a seven. Have they hit, a, the they seven. hit at all? I, I think they, they did at the beginning. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think they hit anything. Unbelievable. Gets, oh, but he's a long. He needs a seven. <laughs> Woo. I mean, thank god. You still have so much firepower, so what are you gonna do? Yeah, but I wanted to kill that thing. I know. Because I wanted more to turn. put all the other guns elsewhere. Yep. How many pips does that Highlander have left? Uh, of armor. Six. Six armor and seven, seven internal. Seven. Has more internal. That's like the old school, like, thanks, Star League era one that, you know, like, yeah, has no extra three. engine. Yeah, yeah, it's like a just. A beast. All right. So I am going to fire the Blackjack at the Highlander. You'll get cover, but I can see. Yep. Um, so are we, what, what are we at? Are we, just, just, we might be just extreme. wondering. Yeah, probably. Might be, I might be out of long at this point. Yeah, 22. Okay. 23. Two, Take three, your shots. four, eight. I need eights. It's not that bad. That's bad. That's bad. That is bad, folks. So close though. Yeah, this is, is three, this is not my turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight. Alright, well with that with that shot Nine alone, actually. Uh cool. I am going to I'm gonna try to cook this flash man. Um the archer hmm. would only need two, three sixes. I'm just gonna wow. fire the archer. I believe the archer's at long range. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure he's probably like, yeah, I'm gonna guess 17 and a half inches. Uh, 16. Oh, that was close. That was <laughs> um, okay, so I need sixes. Come on. 
There it is. All right, so two pips of damage. He's done. That'll done. finish off that flash man. The cataphract is gonna. Uh, the question is, can I shoot the Jenner? You cannot. I measured it. Okay. I knew you would. Three inches. And I'm gonna fire the cataphract at the Highlander. Um, and though they're at long range, right? They're at. I'm gonna guess 13 and a half inches. Just over 12. <laughs> just over 12. Okay, just over 12. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, like, ah, you want to you wanna audit that? What do you want? I mean, I'll audit it if it's that close. Yeah, it's it's super, super close. Yeah, it's it's really like, tree. oh, I just pushed him back a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. It's a classic Tom move. On, I got to like hold him down. There you go. Hold him down. So there you go. So that's... Base so the to mark, base. The base is at 12, I think. Okay. You see the, uh, you see the one foot mark? Yeah. Black. Yeah. That's at base. That's at your base. Do you see the one foot? Yeah. I, I mean, it hits. It hits. I think we're at medium. I think we're at medium. Why don't we? Do you want to roll a dice and 50 50 it? How do you no, feel? No, I mean, I'm 99% sure it's at medium. He said it's, it's good and bad. It's good for me, bad for me. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Put this tree back. Well, I am shooting through woods. Uh, you're shooting through woods if, yeah. you, shoot, if you choose to shoot back, so which you don't have to. What's your, what's your damage at medium? Six. I'm just kidding. It's four. No. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four, five, six, I need sevens. I don't know that I get any cover from that. I don't think so. You should have been a less. little further back. Yeah. That's okay. You kind of came cool. around. I know. Um, I didn't want to, and then but... I moved that way. Anyway, okay, here we go, guys. I need sevens. Oh, no, oh, Tom. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I don't mean to gloat about a bad roll. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. But I, I live. I, I was. That, I need that Highlander to like stay in one piece. Oh no, that's that was an awful turn shooting for me. Well, I mean, you killed. I missed with. That's five, fair. I missed you with eighty percent yeah. of my units. All right, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Well, I hope that you do as awful as I did. I think I will. Uh, but we'll see. Well, I'll start with the hardest shot, the Jenner, through the woods at the higher tank. So okay. we're again at medium. The elevated tank here. Yeah, this the one. Okay. one. Yeah, I don't think I can hit him. He's too far. Gotcha. So, um, you going through two or three inches of woods, like over two inches of woods? I don't think so. Okay. Because I'm sort of firing like on this arc here. So, so that's like one. an inch right there. If you see where the bases are, right? You have a cover mice. What if, if it's over an inch, what is it? Another plus one? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll just do that. That's fine. All right. Three, four, five. He's got, I'm sorry, he's a one. Six. Yeah. Seven, eight. Okay, eights. If you roll all sevens, I'll feel bad. We'll re we'll reevaluate cover. Why well, it doesn't for two. It doesn't matter anyway. Uh, the Jenner sends the po tank into a plume of nice apocalyptic smoke. Okay, one down. Um, next up is the Highlander into the cataphract. Okay, so that's four pips. So maximum two potential. Yeah. Um, and he needs three, four, five. Six, seven, seven, sevens. Right. Wow. So there you go. We're <laughs> one for one. So we have eliminated the forest from the board. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have destroyed several trees. Yeah. I can't believe you missed. I feel so good. Yeah, with everything. Not <laughs> even not even a token. I'm crying. I'm crying yeah. inside. That cataphract, man. Huge. That was huge. Um, 16 or... 16. Doesn't really matter. Right. Either way, it's going to be with the woods or the higher TMM. You're probably, you're going to need the same number. Yeah, which the flash is, is, e, is E and E, so. It's done? That makes a difference. Yeah. Because he, he does three. So max one. Yeah. I'm going to fire at the cataphract. All right. So you're going to need, don't forget you have the fire control hit. So yeah. three, four, five. Not going to matter. Not going to matter. Cataphract misses. So you destroyed a po tank, and then whiffed everything. That's all right. I, I whiffed almost everything. All right. So the flash man's down. The po tank's down. We're going into turn eight. Forces are dwindling. The caravan perilous here in the center. So we'll see what happens, guys. Stick around. Turn eight's coming right up.
Flash man down. <laughs> it's turn eight. Uh, things are getting crazy. Things have already gotten crazy. Tom's down to two units. Uh, I have the privilege of having four remaining. Mm, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. How much does that tank have left? Like nothing. Mm -hmm. Like he's basically, it's just like a fuel tank and a chair and a dude <laughs> with a gun on top. If they had been hitting more, I would have probably taken it out. Yeah. I, they, I mean, I'm not even, you said they hit. I don't know that they hit at all to this game. They might not. Well, we'll see. Could have been um, nice. Blackjack finally coming out of cover. I'm going to get some guns on that Highlander Archer. Moving in, both these mechs are fresh, undamaged, yep. green across the board. The Cataphract getting bold, uh, contesting the objective for the first time. The old Kentucky Chargers now in control uh, of that uh, convoy. Well, we'll see okay. at the end of the turn if yep. it'll be, if it'll still be alive. But Potank backing up, also going to put some shots on that Highlander. Um, Tom just kind of shuffling around here. Now the Jenner, I know you backed out to, to kind of make it more difficult for me to hit you. Yep. Uh, if I choose to shoot you and the Highlander kind of moved around to get cleaner shots. Yeah. He has a little bit more cover from the uh, counter. <clears throat> so. He does, yeah. It doesn't really matter because it's one regardless, right? So. Uh, right. Yeah, correct. So, never mind. Unless I can't see you at all. Like, but I think I can because the, the Highlander is gigantic. Yeah, I, I, I sort of sent him up so I would still have line of sight down to the contested area. So. Yeah. Well, do your worst. Yeah, I lost initiative, so I'm gonna start. Um, and, you know, I know what I'm gonna do here with the with the blackjack, but can you do me a favor and measure range? Yep. I believe he's within long, I just wanna confirm. Yes, yep, 17. can you measure? That's medium, uh, I uh, believe. Medium, yeah. Yep, and then sure. that's medium as well. Okay, so blackjack's at long. Uh, so three, four, I need sevens on the blackjack. Here we go. No cover from the blackjack to the Highlander. It's two pips. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Potank. Actually, I'm gonna wait on the Potank. I mean, that's all he has. There's no other shot. Listen, I'm gonna make it cinematic. Okay. How much armor does the Highlander have? Uh, four. Four. So I'm gonna generate the crit Potank. What do you think? Funny. Okay. Uh, so the Archer does five. So if I get through with everything, I'll get a crit and then I can get an additional one with the yeah. Potank. That's kind of where my head's at. So two, mean, no. four, I need fives with the Archer. Uh, cover? Uh, you tell me. From the Archer, I didn't think he was 33% covered. I only no. see the one leg covered. Uh, I guess he's kind of tall. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. If you say so. Um, nothing? Yikes. Two, three, I got, I get one pip. Okay. God, where's my luck point? Like that is unbelievable. That That's game changing. Well, we'll see. It, it was one for one last turn, so. Okay, so Potank firing in. Should've shot the Potank first. Should've, should've shot the Potank first. Oh. Nine, he hits. <laughs> Bull. Bull. Uh, really, nine's the... hit? Yeah. Yeah. With cover, can you even see him? Yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. With the Potank? Yeah, for sure. You, you I mean, you I don't, know. I, I don't I mean, know. Yeah. There's pretty, yeah. yeah. It's pretty well, you can see his head, yeah. I, um, yeah, I mean, I can see more than that, but even even still, even if he has cover, uh, three, four, five, six, I would need eights. What are you gonna do now? Well, the question is, can the Cataphract see the the Highlander? I think he can. Um, I don't think- I know I, think, I can see you. So. I think half of them's covered. I can see like above his waist, part of his arm, like that that left arm is covered, but I can see everything from basically the, the LRM rack like level over. Get the laser. No, I'm kidding. It's fine. So, Go ahead. I'm gonna torso twist and fire everything. It's a medium range, four points of damage. Hurts. Uh, three, four, you get cover five, six, seven. I need sevens. Okay. I'm gonna switch my pilot that I have, Tom. Okay. Oh, I think it's about to go hot on you. You think it's about to go hot? Should I switch it? I think, uh, no, do, do, you gotta stick with your gut. If your gut says to switch, you switch. Don't second guess it. Don't do second it. guess it. I should have second guessed it, Tom. One pip? Uh, one pip. He lives another. What would have this one rolled? Uh, eh. What was the other one? A two? Two. Uh, that's the one that matter. Would have been better. Yeah. Would have been better, but I needed. I needed. I needed all sixes. Uh, this was a. This was not great. Nope. Okay. Go ahead. It's not going to be better for me. So we'll see. So the Jenner into the um, uh, the yeah, cataphract. Cataphract. Uh So three pips. Again, there's plus one for the for the woods. So it's two. Uh, medium range, four, 
Sevens. Okay. Get two right, pips. So it's going to be mm. one pip. Jeez. Yeah. All right, got it. Six is right. It's not going to hit. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So one more pip. And then the Highlander will fire at the Cataphract as well. He'll do four. We're at medium, right? So we're at medium. So he'll do four. Uh, I'll overheat one, do five. Oh boy. He's doing it. And um, so he's three, four, five, six. Sixes. Okay. And he's not E and E. All right, so that's well, everything. So that's going to be two points of damage. <laughs> five to two, yeah, right? Because you round down. You've got to be kidding me. I it, shouldn't have overheated. It's internal. God. It's internal, I can't Tom. Believe. No, no, he's not E and E. He only reduces by one. That's four. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. So that overheating was good then, because then I do my You're max. right. You're okay. right. Okay. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. I, I knew what you were thinking. Yeah. I didn't even took me a second. Okay. So so internal? Correct. Correct. Big, big roll. Five. That is nothing. Nothing. Wow. On oh wait, wait, wait. You add two to it because it's reflective armor. It's a motive. Seven. A motive. Oh, that doesn't it's really garbage. Happen, but... So TMM goes down to zero. His movement is half. Are you done shooting? Yeah, so I only have two minutes. Alright, we're going to turn on, guys. This is it. Nail biting. It's turn nine. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's getting late. He is in force withdrawal. Uh, right, because it's half. It's half. Yeah. It's half. So, so if you have four, you're at two. You're right. At four, it's, it's when you, right. Correct. It's not less than half, it's half. And that's how I've been playing it the whole game. I, I was confused yeah, so we because were, the, po the potanks have three structure. And it's easy. And when you right. go into, when you get one, you go into force withdrawal. Yeah. But then, I, I don't know. I, but anyway, the yeah. point is, I want initiative. I move some guys. Tom moves some guys. Yeah, I thought the point was that odd numbered structure sucks. And odd numbered structure sucks. That's <laughs> exactly right. Alpha. Um, so, do you want to start shooting? Oh, I lost. That's right. Yeah. So, again, you know, not much movement. The Jenner kind of ran up a little bit. There's not much. He's got the high ground. He's got range. He's got lots of firepower. It is what it is. He'll either kill him or he won't. I don't yeah. know. So, I'm just going to fire at the Cataphract. Um, okay. I don't actually know. Oh, I guess we are in. Um, I didn't think we were, okay, we're at 12 inches, so. Yeah. Um, I'll fire at the archer. Okay. Mm. Yeah, might as well. Three points is three points. So I'm three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Eight. <laughs> Here it comes. I get two pips. All right, two pips to the archer. Uh, and now your Highlander, sir. And the Highlander will also fire at the Archer. Okay. And he'll be so medium as well. Uh, can I overheat again? You can. I'm going to overheat again. Okay. So this turn I'm taking a plus one. You are. To my TN. So you're basically skill four, five, six, you need eights. Thank you. And unless there's cover. Uh, is there oh my god dude how do you roll so good four yeah so let's see so uh three four five six seven seven and then eight for heat eight for heat you're right the so, question is, is there's no cover from the rock right there shouldn't be enough. okay I'm oh you mean that rock no yeah. no it's too no, too no, far no, away yeah, the one in front of your face so crit or anything or he's fine no no okay. crits all right so i'm shooting back um the question is I mean, the Potan can only see the, the Highlander, so we're going to do that. Can he even see him? I tried to move him to block. Oh, okay. So, because of how low that tank is. Can you uh, see him? No, I guess not. I guess not. One thing went my way. Okay. Um, what are you going to do? So, Jenner has... Jenner is... Four like total, two armor, two internal. An inch... Is that what we said? Is that an inch yep, between just him and the cataphract? So, I would need three... Six. 
nines. We need nines to hit him. We need nines to hit. And I the think. Shatter. I don't know. I think we're still at. Yeah, we're at eleven. So they're still medium too. Nines to hit the Jenner. The Jenner is very hard to hit. Yeah, I, I gotta say that was actually I was kind of pissed about the the no long no extreme, but yeah, but the three TMM is like once you get above two TMM, it's just so. Yeah. Screen. Yeah, two's not worth it. Three's worth it. I, so, I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to fire the archer at the Highlander. That's a pretty clear shot. Um, it's five points of damage. It's two. Actually, you um, five could put him in force with it. Okay. So your you, your TMM has not been affected yet. Uh, Correct. That'll be next turn. So we're going to go ahead and and do that. Two. Oh, you needed eights, right? No, I needed fives. <sighs> what a bummer. Yeah. Um, now, that was the archer or the cataphract? That was the archer. It's not even your cataphract. And you still have your blackjack? I no. still have the blackjack. Okay. So you got two, two mechs left. So I the blackjack, if I shot the Jenner. I would need three. You got long range, six. I guess? I would need nines. Are you long range? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would need nines. So either way, I need nines. To hit the the Highlander, I need three, four, eight sixes. Are we have long range? No. Between these two? Oh, oh yeah, you're two. right. So I need, do I get cover three? Not from them. Okay, not from them. Three the Highlanders too big. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. I mean, maybe no. Three, sorry, four, six, seven. So sevens. That's a big. It's a big difference. I mean, it's obvious, right? Is it? I yeah. don't think it is. I think I'm gonna shoot the Jenner. Okay. I'm gonna shoot it with the cataphract at medium range and hope to God. How many pips does the Jenner have left? Four. Okay, here we go. Cataphract first. You need three to put them in force control. I got two nines. Okay. Is that an internal hit? Nope. It's really not. All right. It needs three to get internal. The blackjack firing at the Jenner. I need nines. Don't kill my Jenner. All right, turn 10, last turn. This is why you should, now that you shot, I, I'm not gonna interrupt, but the Highlander has no armor left. You would've gotten internal crits if you hit him with even one pin. So you could, you know, he has a lot, but. Yeah, but here's the thing, you're gonna run the Jenner away, I can't win now. I could. I mean, I don't know, I, I might be able to, I might be able to hit him with the blackjack because I'm elevated. We'll see, we're gonna go into turn 10. We'll be right back. Turn 10, this is it, do or die. Uh, I want initiative, Tom, you get to shoot first. So ba uh, basically real quick in terms of movement. Potank shifted so that I could see the Highlander, but I don't think, I don't know, I'll have to see, I think the Cataphract's in the way, because um, I was trying to Definitely. angle for shots with him. Basically, you know, there, when you're just moving back, there's not much you can do. Yeah. The Blackjack stood still, the Archer moved away out of the Jenner's range uh, and clear shot to the, to the Highlander. So I can still shoot the Jenner, they're both on level three. They can see clearly over the woods. So that's what I did. What did you do? Yeah, well, the Jenner is now um, out of range, so I don't have a shot with him. Yeah, so it's just the Highlander. Which thinks, yep, and just the Highlander. So um, he's probably gonna, I don't even know what we're, are we still in medium range? We yeah. are. So he'll probably overheat again, and just like, again, try to, I'll be able to heat three, but whatever. This is like it, right? This is it. I mean, 
So it's just sweating bullets in the cockpit. Yeah. So five. Uh, he didn't move. shoot the archer. Yeah, he didn't move. He didn't, but remember, he's got plus two for, yep. for heat. So basically, he's at gunnery five, six, seven. You need nines, right? Well, he should be. He He's at five minus one for standing. Oh, you're right. So you need eights. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. You're right. Here it comes. Br brilliant. The archer is dead. Archer is destroyed. Yep. <laughs> yep. Strong uh, end. Archer's Strong done. End. Strong end. Uh, now, if I am able to deal three points of damage to the Highlander and what, two points to the Jenner? You need to deal four points. Because it's Jenner? seven internal. No, uh, the, the Highlander is seven, right? No, so only three. Remember, we just. We, <laughs> it's so just. The, the, the Sentinel have four. Yeah, that's okay because it's half, half rounded up. Right. This is what gets confusing when you round up and round down. But for like when I have with the Po tanks, they have three structure. If they take one pip, they're in force withdrawal. Right. So when you have seven, if it's you have same. half rounded up remaining, three, four, you're in seven, force eight, whatever. Yeah, you yeah, exactly, say. exactly. Okay. Yeah, and just one for the Jenner. Yeah. So that's all you need. Do your worst. Yeah. How about it? That's it. Let's go. Come on, do it. You're going to win. Hang on. Do I'm it. thinking of the order of operations here. So I think the cataphract is going to shoot the Highlander. Yep. Okay. So the cataphract is at, what? what is the range there, Tom? Probably long. Maybe. Uh, just, you can see. Yeah, it's long. Yeah. Okay. So uh, three. You get cover? Yeah. I think, I think you'll get cover. I'm pretty sure you get cover. Yeah. Three. Four. I need sixes. Sevens, right? Sevens. Sevens. Tom's on. Okay, Tom's on form more. tonight. Still a seven. Just roll. Just roll. There it is. The Highlander in force withdrawal. Now can I finish this pesky Jenner? Tom, there's hope. Oh my gosh. I told you. All right, the Archer locking onto the Jenner. I need a two, five. I need eights. Now, if my mechs are just in force withdrawal, not destroyed. Now, at the end of the game, okay, if they are, game. yes, if they're in force withdrawal, they count as destroyed. Mm. Bummer. Okay. Let's but do don't it. worry, uh, this archer's missed some very critical shots. Mm. So, yeah, you're a long range. Two, Seven, six, seven, eight, nine. I need nines again. Wait, no, you don't get a penalty for shooting through woods, right? Cool. So you're at eight. Two. Just one. Structure critical. Okay. He's in force of control. Is he really? Yeah. He's only got two internal. Or two structure. So half. Yeah. He's done. Game over. Why couldn't I do that last time? It would have felt a lot better. <laughs> well, because you went after. Oh, you did go after him. I don't know. There you go. Game over. So. That was an nail biter. I call it a technicality. But See, it's a technical knockout. It's, not, it's <laughs> yeah, a minor it's victory at best. Yeah, you got one one mech that's not a force of draw, who's un completely out I mean, it is, yeah, I mean, yeah. it is actually a minor victory because you have five secondary objective points, and I have five at this point. And I have three primaries, right? And you have three primaries. Um, yeah, and it's all for not because... They're all dead. They're all dead. They have There's to withdraw thing. from the convoy. It was we can't a fight take it with you, as they say. <laughs> we could call it a draw. No, I mean, that was great. I, I, <laughs> it was just a matter of time. I was hoping, I got real lucky on those last two turns that you like whiffed. Dude, I was so pissed. pissed. I had three turns to kill like two mechs or whatever, because the Flashman was basically dead. Yeah. And all I needed was one pip on the Flashman. I couldn't yeah. freaking do it with the Po tanks. I had to waste the Archer on it. Yeah, I wish and in that and in that time, I think I was able to put the cataphract in force withdrawal, and then eventually I killed your archer. Yeah, the archer's dead. That's just crazy good. stuff. Yeah, I was, I hit real hard. I think it was a fun game. Yeah. Um. Again, you know, I kept it. Yeah, I th I think the the force imbalance. Uh, the five to six, you mean? Yeah, no, and I just mean like my that I lost. You know him up front i would i'm trying to think of 
I, I, sh I punched above my weight for how many mechs and how much damage I had on the board. Like you were doing, like he has so much, like my Jenner and the Highlander, yeah. right? He's doing like five. He's doing five. Yeah, but the Jenner was critical on tapping the objective points. Like if I didn't- I mean, I so know. good. I yeah. know that, and doing three at medium is, I mean, he massacred those tanks. Yeah. And then, you know, doing, again, the cataphract, it, it, it was painful to like do one damage at a time or whatever or two instead yeah. of four or, you know, but it, I had to do it. Like I thought every time I rolled it, it like hurt, but cause I was like, oh, I can hit the, the archer and do full damage. But yeah, I, I thought it was the right move. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about it more in the after action port. Uh, yeah. The after action report, which will be a separate uh, video, which we'll get to at some point. Um, but We'll wrap this one up. Good Guys, day. thanks so much for watching. And yes, sir, a very good game. It was, uh, I was about ready to ram my head through the table. <laughs> it still doesn't feel good, though. It doesn't feel good. I really wanted a satisfying one. That was like a... <laughs> you limped across the line. Yeah, right. A li right, yeah. You limped, right, totally out of breath. You're like crawling across the finish line. That's what that felt like. Uh, but anyway, guys, stick around for the final wrap up here. And thanks again for watching. Here we are on the planet of Shiro, the battlefield. Uh, it was a nail biter. I was frustrated. Tom was a much better sport. But in the end, the old Kentucky Chargers managed to pull out a victory from the jaws of defeat. Now, the way the mission rule works, uh, it's in our mission pack. If all the units are defeated, or if all units are wiped at the end of a turn, which again, at the end of the game, anything in force withdrawal counts as being destroyed, and you look at the price of retreat rule, which in this take and hold mission states, then basically I would automatically win the primary objective. So that's what it came down to, folks, is just a couple of more bullets that needed to land. Uh, but it was a brilliant mission. Tom did a fantastic job, I think, of, of maneuvering his forces, laying in the damage. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think those, actually the Po tanks, even though they didn't hit anything, soaked up so much damage. I think that was really critical for me. Although Tom getting in early with the Pegasus and the Jenner, uh, and then smartly darting away into cover. It was a good one. Uh, and it was bloody and it went 10 turns, but honestly, Alpha Strike, lots of fun. It doesn't take very long. Uh, and this was, a, this was a good one. So we will do an after action report. Uh, keep your eyes open for that. That'll be a separate video. A couple closing things, as I mentioned in the beginning, don't forget about Aries games and minis. You can get all the Lance packs, books, dice, everything you need to get into Battletech right there. And also don't forget to check out our friends over at Terrainify uh, if you want to get your hands on some of this awesome uh, awesome terrain. Um, so that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death from Above Wargaming. Have a good night.